Okay, um, this is uh, going to be the trig functions, and I've, I hope you already watched my video on parts of the triangle, because uh, I kind of based this off of uh, parts of the triangle. Um, and the first thing I'm going to introduce to you is the Sokotoa little mnemonic, uh, just a way um, I and many other people have kind of memorized. And, stay, and let's just start at the first one. The first one means sine means opposite over hypotenuse. Okay, you can see how it comes from there. Ka is cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Toa, I don't know if I have enough room, that means tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, uh, so just go ahead and write those down um, and just keep them, don't, don't, uh, don't keep them too, uh, too far away, but um, we'll be using them here pretty quick. Okay, so you got those, and that's Sokotoa, okay, and, that, and that's that's the way I, I memorized them. So um, I think it, I think it's a pretty good one. Okay, now there are another set of uh, um, trig functions that we call them. Um, um, they're the uh, oops. They're the reciprocals of all of these. Okay. And you got one over sine theta. Okay, that's equal to cosecant theta. That's CSC. One over cosine. That's equal to secant theta. And the way I kind of remember those is, you know, I look at cosine, and that's COS, and this is SEC. You know, we it's just the first letter and the last letter are switched around, so. That one's easy to, for me to memorize. That's how I did it, at least. And then you've got you've got tangent theta, and that's just that's just going to be. Oops, I'm sorry. You got cotangent theta, and that's equal to one over tangent. Cotangent is easy to remember because I mean it's the only one here that you know. You know, it doesn't have a, a sign word in it. You know, kind of a uh, a sign suffix, um, if you would. So that, that's kind of how that goes. And in, if it's not either one of these, then it's obviously the secant. So uh, we got some of those, and let's just uh, kind of just yeah, let's just dive right into some applications here. So let's see here. Let me uh, I'm gonna draw a triangle. Actually, and let me go back to one more thing. All, all these rules that I just wrote, um, they are all, uh, these sides um, and these trig functions are all with respect to, the, to a certain angle, okay? And in this case, I called it angle theta. Um, you know, sine of theta up here, theta two, if you, maybe if you want to call it, would be different than you know what we did right here. You know, the, the sides would change. So, with respect to the angle theta, um, these are kind of how everything works out. So let's go. Let's just go back here, and I'm going to keep theta the same. I'm going to keep theta the same, and I'm going to ask you. Okay, so here's. Um, Here's a triangle. Here's a right triangle. Um, so let's see here. Sine of theta is going to be what? It's going to be opposite over hypotenuse. So it's going to be four fifths. Um, so what is cosecant of theta? Well, that's one over sine theta, which is one over four fifths, which just simplifies down to five fourths. Okay. So I don't know if you can see that. Um, here's another triangle. Let's do this again. Here's sine theta, and this is. Um, I'm gonna make some wacky ones. Actually, I don't even know if that's gonna. Um, I'm gonna cross that out because I don't know if, it, if it's if it's even gonna work. Okay, so here we go. Here's Here's sine theta, so or here's theta. So what's a cosine of theta? 
Well, that's adjacent over hypotenuse, right? So it looks like my adjacent my adjacent side is three halves, and my opposite side is C. So it's going to be three halves over C. Okay, and remember C is just really C over one. So that actually kind of simplifies down to. 3 over 2c, okay? Um, let's see here. Tangent theta. Tangent theta, well that's just, you know, we, we uh, go back to uh, the TOA, which is opposite over adjacent. So what's opposite of sine theta, or of angle theta? That's 3 halves. And we're going to divide that by the adjacent side, which is square root of 5. Okay. So this is going to simplify down as well. Uh, 3 over 2 times square root of 5. Maybe, you know, we should go ahead and rationalize the denominator right there. So let's go ahead and do that. You just multiply both sides by the radical, radical and we get... Um, this is this will be square root of five squared that'll cancel out to uh, just uh, regular five times two is ten. Okay, so that's how that one right there would go. Um, and if I were to ask you what is then cotangent of theta, well, you would say that would be one over tangent, which we just found tangent. And it looks a little messy like that. And I'm going to kind of go down here. I'm going to get more messy. And that's just going to end up being this, the reciprocal. Okay, you don't have to write the one over it each time. Uh, you, can, you can go like this if you want. So that's, um, that's basically trig uh, functions uh, in a nutshell. And we'll uh, work with them a little more. Okay, thanks.